What is up YouTube fam? Welcome back to my channel. Um, today's Wednesday. I think it's July 22nd. Yeah, July 22nd and we're back with another video. I put on some nails. Thank goodness because my nails were gross for way too long thanks to having to stay at home. Um, but today we're going to do a full day of eating again because I don't know what else to do right now. Um, and you guys really like them and I think that they're fun to make. So we're going to do a full day of eating again and um, this time though with my meals I think I'm just going to show you guys because I kind of want this to be a bit quicker of a video for you. Um, so I'm just going to kind of like show you guys like what's going to go into the meals and then kind of like show you the finished product. Um, if there's any specific recipes though I will just put them all in the description box for you guys so that you can look at like how um i made it but yeah so that is going to be what today's video is going to be and then also though i want to chat a little bit kind of between showing you guys my meals just a little bit on intuitive eating because i've been intuitive eating now for um like a two months maybe um after i finished that or stopped doing the um challenge thing that i was doing I decided to take a break from tracking for a little bit, so I've been intuitive eating for a couple of months. Um, so I think that I have some really good advice for it though, as somebody who has kind of gone back and forth a little bit and struggled with knowing which one to do. So that's kind of what I want to chat about throughout this video, but we will get into that um, in a bit. But I hope that you guys enjoy this video. Please be sure to give it a thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe below to support my channel. And I have a new saying for you guys. I put it in my Instagram bio and I'm so excited. I've always wanted to have a little saying. And I, this literally, I was in the shower and it came to me. And I was like, oh my gosh. I literally like got out of the shower to put it in my notes. Because I was like, that's perfect. And I didn't hear it from anywhere. So it came from my head. So sorry if somebody else has it. But don't forget to find a little bit of sunshine in your day today. Okay, now let's get into the video. Hey guys, I'm about to just make up a quick little iced coffee. So I have my ice in here and then I'm going to use this. This one's almost gone, but I'm going to use this cold brew that I got at Walmart. And then I'm going to use probably, I think I'm going to use a little bit of almond milk and then my butter half and half. You guys, if y'all haven't tried this, it's so, so good. And then a little bit of stevia. So I'm just going to make that up really quick. All right. I'm just going to mix it. That's is going to be my little morning coffee so making breakfast up now so I'm gonna be making my protein oats so what I do is I do a little bit of these Quaker oats the quick one minute oats I probably did about a half cup and then I also do a packet of the hundred calorie better oats so today I'm using maple and brown sugar I actually like cinnamon roll better but these are still amazing too so yeah then I'll add some water obviously <laughs> heat that up and then add a scoop of my vegan chocolate protein and then i'm going to top it with a little bit of vanilla almond butter and then on the side these are some of my daily supplements i have my micro factor so this is just a complete nutrient pack it has a multivitamin but it also has an antioxidant coq10 fruit and veggie cap probiotic and essential fatty acids and then I'm also going to take two of my um, fish oil caps. So yeah, that's going to be my breakfast. Again, I'm just going to add some water to this. Then I microwave it for a minute, stir it, microwave it 30 seconds, add my protein, almond butter, and then reheat it. So I'll show you guys the finished product in three, two, one. And there we have it. Oh, this lighting is bad, but there's my oats. So so thick literally best oats ever if you guys are in need of a good vegan protein i highly highly recommend this one it is literally one of the best tasting and textured vegan proteins i've ever had the chocolate one is the one i like honestly the vanilla one is a little bit too plain for me but i love this chocolate flavor so highly recommend especially for oats it's just like the best texture but that is gonna be my breakfast so my first tip that i want to give you guys in terms of intuitive eating is i do think that is it <laughs> words are hard that it is important to actually track for a little bit first because when it comes to intuitive eating what i think is that you know whenever we look at okay so if you say that somebody is intuitively like doing something at a job 
Well, you would hope though that that person that it like kind of just like knows what they're doing had some prior training or knowledge like they actually have a reasoning behind the choices that they're making so in my opinion eating is similar um i think that to intuitive eat in a healthy way i think that you have to have the knowledge of what your body truly needs what what food and different foods do for our bodies and how they fuel them and why it matters to actually successfully like intuitive eat for health and your goals um, because i think a lot of people if you just say okay well intuitive eating is simply listening to your hunger cues well number one i think that especially for women a lot of us um unintentionally even under eat if we're just listening to say like our hunger cues maybe it's because in our head we think it's bad to eat more but maybe it's just because our stress is a little bit high that day so we're not thinking enough about it and then we unrealizingly eat way under what our body truly needs to perform well recover well be healthy um, but then also on the other side of things i think that that is also basically saying give in to every single craving like oh if you want a cookie every single day just have one every day but like if you have goals it's okay to still have discipline even if you're not tracking so i think that's another thing that it comes in because it's like okay intuitively i would love to have like a burger and fries every day and you know all this blah 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 but i would probably feel like crap i mean i would be unhappy because i would be not showing up for myself the way i want it to be every day and that's not to say a burger and fries are like bad they're not but i think moderation is a, is a big thing and finding that balance to where you can like eat and still reach your goals so yeah i think that's another big thing is that like just because you aren't tracking doesn't mean that you can't still have goals and use discipline sometimes um so that's kind of my first tip is i would track first to get the knowledge i will give more tips for you guys later on like once you actually do kind of intuitive eat but i do think that that is first and foremost important that way you have knowledge whenever you are intuitively eating. All right, lunchtime, friends. I'm gonna show you what I'm having. Okay, so I'm gonna do a big salad. So we got some spring mix and romaine lettuce. And then what I do for my dressing currently, I've been doing a tablespoon of hummus. So I'm gonna use this roasted red pepper and then like a, probably a little bit more than a serving because I put a lot of salad dressing on of this Bolt House Farms cilantro avocado yogurt dressing. And then I mix that up and then I'm gonna put, ooh, some avocado on top today and then for the rest i'm going to do two slices of this dave's killer bread with a little bit of this spray butter and then i actually have some meal preps crock pot barbecue chicken in here oh that was gross <laughs> and so i'm going to put some of that on my toast so that's gonna be my lunch also for my salads what i do is i put this in like a big um tupperware with the dressing and i like shake it up so i'll show you guys the finished product in three two one and there's my lunch so we got my big salad with avocado toast with the spray butter and some chicken i'm just gonna like shred that up and put it on there so that's gonna be my lunch i'm honestly probably gonna get hungry pretty soon but i'll show you guys if i eat something else Hey guys, so I'm actually going to have one of these little Greek yogurt bars. I just ate that lunch, but I'm going to have one of these. They're so good. The vanilla one's my favorite, but the strawberry one is also good. So yeah, I'm going to have one of these and I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. So I wanted to go over another tip for you guys in terms of intuitive eating. So if you have been tracking and you are wanting to transition into intuitive eating, start slowly. Like don't feel like you have to go from tracking every single day to never tracking so you can kind of um like i guess you could say don't go cold turkey with it so kind of take your time and slowly implement things so maybe you start with two intuitive days or maybe you know you start with a couple intuitive days and then on some days you're just tracking protein and calories instead of all of your macros and then maybe once you've done that for a week you do um three intuitive days or maybe at first you just do like okay i'm just gonna track protein or i'm going to track protein and calories on some days intuitive eat some days like there are so many different ways that you can transition but i would recommend kind of slowly easing out of it because what you want to do is you want to practice eating on those intuitive days um, because ideally it shouldn't look that much different than a track day so what i say to my clients is like if i 
came up to you and took your phone away, you are not allowed to open my fitness pal anymore. Like, could you still eat? And that's the goal. So what you want to do is really learn how to, even if you're not inputting foods, like your body still needs fuel and you still can have these goals of either, either changing your physique further or maintaining your physique, but you don't have to have an app to eat the way that you eat with the app, if that makes sense. So really practicing on those days without the app, eating how you normally would. And now obviously there are days that are going to come up where you're not tracking and say you eat out or you're craving something different and that's totally fine. It's all about balance. But for the most part, your day shouldn't look that much different. Um, a big thing that I would recommend is just kind of in your head, keep track of the same kind of habits that you learned with macros because the thing with macros is it's going to teach you a lot. So you don't want to go from doing macros to going right back to what you were doing before because if you want to change your lifestyle and maintain the physique, you do have to keep up the habits. Like if you want to live a healthy lifestyle, but intuitively your body is telling you, oh, I want to go drink every day and eat pizza four times a week and eat dessert every single night, you're not going to be able to maintain where you got to. So you still have to take things that you've learned but just kind of track in your head the habits. So, you know, you probably learned with tracking about how much protein you need at each meal. So still keep aiming to get those protein servings at each meal. Um, you know, you need a good um, amount of carbs pre and post workout and just like an average amount of carbs in all of your meals for, for sustained energy throughout the day. You need a little bit of healthy fats in each meal, um, especially for women, keeping those fats up really, really important for hormones. It's important for men too, but um, even more so for women. So little things like that um, can go a long way. And then too, with the micronutrient side of things, just because you're not tracking macros anymore doesn't mean, oh, all of a sudden, I don't really care if I eat enough fruits and veggies. I don't really care if I drink enough water. I don't really care if I get enough hours of sleep. I think a lot of people kind of go from either they're doing all of the things in tracking or they're doing none of the things in not tracking. And it should not be that way because the goal here is we want to learn how to implement this into a healthy lifestyle. So as you're transitioning out on those intuitive days that you have, be sure that you're kind of making a mental note of all those habits. You could even make like a little calendar to put on your fridge. You could put something in your notes on your phone, but keep up with your sleep, your water intake, your veggies, your fruits, your protein at each serving, um, getting enough carbs and fats. Like don't let yourself fall into under eating, but also don't let yourself fall into like stress eating, like keep up with all those same things that you were doing before um but yeah so that's kind of my next tip for you guys start slow work out of it and then also too though remember that there are going to be days when you're not going to keep up with all your habits perfectly that's part of life like there are going to be day trips and birthday parties and all that kind of stuff and that's where it comes down to just balance moderation use what you know like nobody wants to feel disgusting after a night or eat so much that they make themselves sick so like you know use moderation, use balance. There's always room for some fun stuff in our life, but I think it just comes down to, for the most part, as you're transitioning, you kind of want your days to look generally the same. So that's my next tip. And I think I'm actually about to make a little snack. So one second. Okay, so honestly, guys, I'm just going to think, have the, why can't I talk? I think I'm just going to have the rest of this container of strawberries. It's four o'clock. I have a call at 5.30 and like, I don't want to make a full like big snack or meal yet cause I'll eat right after it. So I think I'm just going to eat these strawberries and I'll catch up with you guys when I make dinner. All right guys, I'm about to make dinner. So I'm going to do, um, some salmon. I have this wild caught sockeye salmon here. Um, I just have like what's left of this little filet and what I've been doing for my salmon lately and it's don't knock it till you try it. It's so fire. So I've been doing a little bit of honey on it and then a little bit of this, um, cinnamon honey butter like stuff. And then what I do is I'll pan sear it for about like three to four minutes per side. Um, make sure that you spray the pan with some nonstick spray though. And that's what I've been doing for my salmon lately. It's super good. And then I'm gonna do a little stir fry. I have mushrooms, zucchini, broccoli, and I'm gonna spray a pan with some spray, like coconut oil spray, cook these up, and then add in some sugar-free teriyaki sauce. And then for my carb source, I'm just going to peel and cut this little sweet potato. And I'm gonna pop this in, I'm gonna cut it into cubes, pop it in the air fryer, and that's what I'm gonna be having for dinner. Like I said, I wanted to make this video more like quick with my meals. Um, so I will just show you guys the finished product in three, two, 
one. All right, dinner is served. Oh, the steam. All right, so we got my air fryer sweet potatoes. We have my little stir fry with my broccoli, zucchini, and mushrooms. And then this is how the salmon turned out. Look how beautiful. I cooked it for three minutes on each side on like a medium temperature. So that is going to be my dinner. I just mixed up my reds and my green drink that I have every single day. So I do two scoops of the reds, Opti Reds, two scoops of the greens every single day. Literally, you guys, this drink makes me feel so freaking good. The reds help with inflammation because they are like packed with antioxidants. The greens are more for like the gut health, digestive health side of things. So they have probiotics, digestive enzymes, can help with bloating, digestion. Literally, powerhouse combo, free shipping linked in the description box, shameless plug. I have a video comparing the two if you want more details. But yeah, so I'm making this, but I wanted to give you guys another little tip and that is don't compare where you are at versus where other people are at. So whenever like you're thinking about, oh, do I wanna track macros or do I not? Don't let it be something where it's like, well, she's tracking so I think I have to be or I should be right now or she stopped tracking like like I'm not tracking right now. Um, so don't let this video make you think that I think that intuitive eating is the only best way to do things and that's what everybody should do because I think that tracking has its place. I really, truly do. Um, I think it's an amazing learning tool. So also, yeah, don't see people who might be intuitive eating and think, oh, then am I like being too strict? Because certain goals do call for certain measures and it's okay if your balance shifts a little bit at times. It's okay if you want to be a little bit more tedious at times. I do though think it's important to know how to eat without an app and use macros as a learning tool and I don't think that you should rely on them like forever and I think that there should be breaks but be sure that you're not comparing where you're at because if you're watching this right now and you're tracking and you're like oh am I being too strict like don't let even my videos convince you but if you do feel like you've been tracking for a long time and it's solely like your crutch then maybe this video will be motivation to like try out a more intuitive approach maybe slowly transition into that because I think it is so healthy mentally to take some, to take some breaks as well but then there's also you know, certain goals call for certain measures. So like with my clients, if, if we have certain goals and we still need to learn more, um, or we still need to be a little bit more accurate and specific, like that's what we need to do. And that's okay too. So just don't compare where you're at. And that's my other little tip for you guys. Cause I think that is so important. I think we all fall into it. So yeah, I'm about to make my little night snack though. So I will show you guys, I got to decide what I want. I think I'm going to do a mug cake. Um, but yes. change of plans. We're going to do some protein ice cream, which I have a full video of me going like through the step by step so i'll link that in the description box but basically i'm gonna do some ice almond milk liquid egg whites which yes if you do like this carton kind you're perfectly fine you you'll be fine i promise i promise and then a scoop of level one ice cream sandwich you guys this flavor works the best in the protein ice cream i am not sure why but i have noticed that and other people that have dm'd me have told me the same thing and then I'm doing a little bit of powdered peanut butter, a little bit of sugar-free gel mix. So that'll be my protein ice cream. And then I'm also going to have um, two chocolate rice cakes on the side, probably one with a little bit of almond butter. Yeah, I'm just going to put this almond butter on one of them. So I'm going to make the protein ice cream first, though. So I'll show you guys when that's done. All right, guys, here's the finished product of my protein ice cream. Oh, my gosh, it's so thick so freaking good and it makes so much so i have this whole bowl and a little bit more in there so i'm gonna eat this and then i'm just gonna do two rice cakes and one of them is gonna have almond butter i probably won't show you guys that but just uh so that you are aware friends that is gonna be it for this full day of eating and hopefully you got some good tips too from um some of the chats like on intuitive eating and whatnot. I hope that those were helpful. Please comment below if those were helpful. Um, I think that I'm gonna kind of keep going back and forth from some longer form videos, like my full day of eating where I kind of talked a little bit um, on just like not depriving yourself. That one was obviously a little bit longer because I also like showed myself making the meals and whatnot. But I think I'm gonna kind of alter my full days of eating between like quicker ones like this and longer ones like that. But please let me know what you thought. Let me know if you learned anything, if you have any questions. Um, and then also, if you do have more video ideas for me, anything else that you guys wanna see, please let me know. I love doing full days of eating and I know that those get like the best engagement and views and whatnot, but I feel like there's gotta be some other stuff that you guys wanna see too. So. Let me know in the comments, but please, please be sure to subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this, if you want to see more content, and please, 
please be sure to give this video a thumbs up to support your girl. It really does help me out. I appreciate you guys so much. Don't forget to find some sunshine in your day and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.